Hi everyone, it's Andrew here. So I think Tom Gaynor at Markel deserves to be discussed as one of the best managers of the last 30 years. I bet he himself wouldn't think he deserves to be in that conversation, but I believe he is totally under the radar in terms of the great minds of our generation. There are just some managers that give me a lot of comfort knowing they will do the right thing by the shareholders and for the longevity of the business. Now, there is no doubting Warren Buffett is the top of the pile when it comes to looking after the shareholders, but Tom Gaynor definitely is up there. And the cool thing about Tom is that he is totally unremarkable. He doesn't try to chase huge returns. He just tries to not lose money and make sure that Markel is around in a decade to keep compounding away. It's all about the aggregation of marginal gains made over long periods of time. And many investors are erratic, moving from one short-term bet or strategy to the next. So here are Tom Gaynor's principles of investing, and I think these are pretty good for most of us to follow. The first one is he looks for profitable businesses with good returns on capital and not too much leverage. He looks for management that have equal measures of talent and integrity. He looks for a company that must have lots of opportunity to reinvest its profit at strong rates of return into the future and the stock must be available at a reasonable price. And now once the stock meets these four areas, he looks to invest forever, not just five years or when the story changes or not 10 years, but forever. His idea is that he's just trying to take baby steps in the right direction. And this is his attitude to investing in life. I think it's actually hilarious that he aims to lose just one kilogram of weight each year. That seems so ridiculously easy, but Tom has done this year after year and is now in far better shape decades later. No need to make things too intense, just these baby steps. He cut down from 200 donuts a year to 20 donuts. No need to cut anything completely out of your life, just little baby steps in the right direction. I think this resonates with me. I like this idea of trying to be just directionally correct, not trying to make two massive radical changes. Like for me, for example, I cut sugar out completely out of my diet sometimes, and then I have sugar for a few weeks again, and then I have to cut it completely out of my diet again. And I don't know, I think I like this, this method of just being trying to be directionally correct. Cut down when I can, but don't need to cut everything out of my life. Now back to Tom Gaynor, and his portfolio is full of these long-term dependable compounders. Here's a list of some of the bigger holdings in his portfolio at the moment. Actually, it's not just at the moment, this is probably what it's gonna look like in 10 years time anyway. So we've got Brookfield Asset Management, there's CarMax, Berkshire Hathaway, Walt Disney, Visa, Home Depot, Amazon. Now his portfolio is quite large actually, well with well over a hundred stocks, but it has all the best companies in there. Sure, he won't be getting huge returns from this diversified portfolio, but the companies in there are so dependable that it's such a fortress. It's really built to last. So he's made these small incremental investments and he dollar cost averages into positions. It's really slow and steady. In hindsight, it definitely would have been more lucrative to load up on say Amazon but he doesn't intend to be perfectly optimized. Rather, he is aiming to be consistently and sustainably sensible, and the accumulative effect of this strategy has actually been far from average. From 1990 to 2019, the stock, his stock portfolio has returned 12.5% compared to 11.4% for the index. Again, that doesn't sound like a big difference, but the compounding effect of even just 1.1% is actually millions of dollars over 30 years with the reasonable sums of money. Tom said, the richest people have found something good and just held onto it. The people who seem the least savvy, the most frenzied and the least successful seem to be chasing this the next hot thing. Now, Markel runs a similar operation to Berkshire Hathaway. It is a specialty insurer that uses the float of the premiums to invest in stocks and wholly owned businesses. Tom Gaynor was actually brought into the company to replicate what Berkshire was doing but Tom Gaynor is not Warren Buffett, and that is okay. He doesn't need to be. He just does things his way, the slow and steady way for multiple decades. And the stock price of Markel, well, has grown since its IPO of $8.33 and is now over $1,400. That's an 168 bagger. And that just goes to show that great wealth can be made when you combine a great manager and time. Nothing extreme happening here, just slow and steady compounding. Now, chapter seven of the book, Richer, Wiser, Happier by William Green is a more deep look into Tom Gaynor for those that are interested. And I think it was actually my favorite chapter of the book. And Markel is actually one of the companies that I have in my portfolio and I keep the intrinsic value updated each month. 
Now, if you want to keep up to date on these intrinsic values, I currently have 38 different companies that I'm following, then join my e-magazine subscription. It's in the link below. I hope it provides far more value than the price. Now, to illustrate how Tom Gaynor and the Markel operations have been performing, take a look here at this table. Now, the part of this table that's really important for the actual operations of the insurance part of the business is what's this combined ratio. Now, you want this number under 100%. It means you're uh, underwriting profitable contracts, essentially. So most years are under 100%, and that's really strong for the insurance industry. Uh, essentially, it means it's they're doing a really good job of understanding the risk um, and not paying out more than they're taking in. So the years that it's over 100% are the years that they have to pay out more than they take. Uh, generally speaking, they're under 100%. Look, I know some insurance companies that are like 150% year on year, and that's just not gonna be very sustainable, and that's gonna be a terrible operation over a long period of time. But Markel has done a really good job of being a very disciplined underwriter. So that's really good to see. And as you can also see here, there's a column here called investments per share. And that has, as you, has grown each year, essentially for two decades here from 95 to 2015. And then the book value per share has obviously, has obviously gone up with the investments as well. So that started at $39 per share for the book value. And now it's, well, in 2015, it was 560. I think right now it's pushing about $1,000 a share. So look, this is just slow and steady and reliable and honestly amazing. So here's actually the book value chart and including the last six years. And as you can see, it has been compounding away. And here's the investment growth, including the last six years. So we can see that it also has been compounding away nicely. So we're not going to win any prizes for the highest growth here, but we will be investing in a fortress with a fantastically rational and low risk manager in Tom Gaynor. I would love to meet him. He comes across so unremarkable and that's what I find so remarkable. He's really just not impressive in any way, except in one really big way. And that is that he's just so dependable. I'm going to continue following him and hopefully some of his characteristics rub off onto me. I hope you've enjoyed this and you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Tom Gaynor. If there is anyone else you think is in the same league as Tom Gaynor, Warren Buffett, those types of guys that you would like me to cover in a video, look, please let me know. And thank you for staying to the end of the video and I will see you next time.